When you record your webcam with Camtasia and bring it into the editor, you're presented with two tracks that have media on them. The first track, track one, is typically your screen recording, indicated here by the word screen. Track two is typically your webcam, including your spoken audio captured through your microphone. Whatever track is the higher track number, in this case track two, that's the piece of media that will be most forward facing and seen first if the video is going to be produced. So in order to swap back and forth between webcam and screen recording and not leave it in this PIP or picture in picture mode, there's a couple things we need to do. First, we'll open up our video with just the webcam. So let me click on the magnifying glass to see the entire project at once. And then I'm going to select the camera video so that I can manipulate this piece of media alone. And I'm going to resize it so it fills my full screen. Now, before I did the recording, I made sure that my webcam resolution matched the resolution of my screen and the project so that when I did fill it up, I would get the entirety of the screen rather than any black bars on the sides or the top. So if we play this video back, we'll see the webcam first. Hi, I'd like to show how easy it is to find tutorials on the TechSmith website. So at this point, I'd like to switch from my webcam to my screen recording. There's a couple different ways to do this, but I find the easiest way is to simply lock the track of my webcam and use Camtasia's selection tool to grab the section of the screen recording that I'd like to show. So I'm going to drag along this section here and copy this section using control C. And then I simply paste it. So it grabs that piece of media that we just captured and I drag it into place so that it is above my webcam recording. So if we play this video back, find tutorials on the TechSmith website. First, go to TechSmith.com in your favorite web browser. Now, because this is the primary spot that I want to be seen, I didn't affect the audio at all, so the spoken word is still happening, but the screen recording is now prominent. When we get to the end of this section, it'll jump back to the webcam recording, since this piece of media will run out, and the webcam is still the one above all other media. Here you'll find the tutorials and training pages here on TechSmith.com. And then I can simply grab another section of my screen recording, copy, paste, and move that section back in. And this is the way I jump back and forth between webcam and screen recording. 